young millennial, I really feel like this is the time for this continent and where young people should really, really take, really seize this opportunity. A number of people that are here from the diaspora are saying that, oh, they came but their kids didn't come. And kind of like, I'm a rarity because I came with my mom. And really, I want to speak to any young people that are out there. Really, I would say that this is, that this is something that we really need to take a look at. Being like in the slave dungeon, something that I've dreamed of doing, but I never thought that I would be able to go and walk where, where our ancestors walked, you know, over 400 years ago, being in that and just that energy. It was something that I would never, ever forget. And I would have never experienced that if I were to stay in America. Please, your mind, make you know, go kill yourself. Cause no be you get, get yourself, yourself. Oh, oh Lord oh. Say now you go forgive me Peace Everything Hey what's up everybody Welcome to another episode of Nice Corner Hope you guys are wonderful and you are blessed And y'all know what to do Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button And that bell notification So you can keep up with everything in Nice Corner And also give this video a huge thumbs up It would really help me out With um and the and the algorithms If you can just give it a thumbs up it doesn't cost you guys anything and also, please don't forget to visit my PayPal account. Thank you guys so much for all your donations and all your help. And just a huge shout out again to um, to Ahaya's Learning. Um, I mentioned this on my channel before. This wonderful organization um, ran by um, Sister Adon. Huge shout out to Sister Adon. She's a wonderful lady with a beautiful organization. Just um, really uplifting the most highest people. So you guys, please go check it out. I will have all of her website, all the information in my description box. Um, this was just put in my heart to do it. Also, I've been getting DMs from other young diaspora. Huge move from America, from Southern Cali to be exact, to here. What it is like for me. And um, and it is, like I said, it will be a short video, but just kind of like a, just a overview of what it's been like. I've done videos about the pros and cons that I, that I have definitely experienced being here. So if you guys haven't checked those videos out, please check them out. But, um, but today's video is kind of going to go a little bit more in depth with what it's like for me as a young millennial being here in Ghana. So let's get into it. So the first thing I will definitely go over, um, you know, certain negative experiences that I've made, that I may have. Of course, it's an adjustment, guys. I'm not going to lie to you when it comes to being here in Ghana and getting accustomed and, you know, adjusting to another culture. It is difficult, guys. It really is. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I remember I saw a Natural Ghana Girls video um, with um, the different uh, YouTubers here, um, young ladies dealing with, with what it's like forging friendships, you know, and even on this, this one, I'm going to say romantic relationships. Um, there were uh, things in the video that I definitely related to, you know, in terms of, of forging relationships. You want to make sure that uh, the person's motives are genuine. You know, um, it is, that's very, very important, especially being from the diaspora. You just want to make sure that kind of like relationships that you forge are genuine, whether it be romantic or being, you know, just platonic friendships. I have made some really wonderful friendships with people of, of my age that are here in Ghana, and I would say those are friendships that I would cherish and love for the rest of my life, but you have to be careful. You have to make sure kind of like that circle is kind of small, <laughs> to be quite honest with you, you know, um, and being from a diaspora, trying to find your fit, trying to find your niche can be difficult, you know, trying to find your, your sea legs, and um, you will, and I'm saying this is my personal experience, so I won't say that this would happen to everybody, but you do have to get used to the way the system and the way kind of like things are done here. As I mentioned before, ageism is definitely very real here. You have to deal with that. You have to kind of stand your ground. Being a young, especially a woman as well, you have to, because it is a different culture and 
that is something you do have to get accustomed to. But um, you know, before forging relationships, even with different gods, but that's another tale for another time. So I won't get into that. Um, I really feel that this is the time for Africa when it comes to young people. That's why really starting the initiative that I'm doing, I feel that it's important because really kind of change the narrative of this continent, you know, here in Ghana and as a whole. Because yes, you do survive here. I mean, there's a lot of things here for you to, to get involved in, even as a young person. And um, since this continent is primarily made up of a lot of young people, I feel that young people from the diaspora here really need to connect. But anyway, let me get off my soapbox. I would say being here, I have definitely, my mind has broadened since I have left the States. You know, kind of being in America, you kind of feel like you're almost like in a little bit of a fishbowl. You know, where everything is like America, that's just like, that's your world. And you're not really concerned with other things going on in other places. But really by being here, it has brought me, by looking at other perspectives of the world, of different people, I've been more concerned with kind of like world affairs, I guess if that makes any sense. You know, kind of seeing that there's a whole other world out there other than America or the West. I love connecting with different people and just really hearing different perspectives, and especially different perspectives being a melanated person from somewhere else. And it really shows that a lot of our experiences are not too much different at all, just maybe just in a different place. But I love it. I, I really do. I love it and I soak up all the knowledge that I can. Also, I would say on um, the plus is kind of being here, I've tried different things that I would normally not try if I was still living in the States. You know, even such as doing my YouTube channel, being before you guys, I probably never would have even found the need or the passion or the, the desire to even do that if I was still in the States. Among even other things, you know, I have done and tried more more things, I guess you'd say, by being here, just picking up more life experiences as a as a younger person and that I never would have done in the States. I, when I was in the States, I had a good life, but it was very mundane, it was very monotonous. It wasn't, I was a receptionist at, at a Chevrolet dealership. You know, I had, pre, prior to that, I was working, you know, in fast food. And I'm um, just really trying to find, I guess, to find my sea legs in the, in the workforce, you know, among also going to school and getting my degree. I was, you know, doing that as well. You know, just had a normal life, take, helping my mother take care of my grandma. And um, like I said, it was good, but it wasn't interesting. You know what I'm saying? It really wasn't kind of where I wanted to be. And I have to say when I moved here, like I said, it's an adjustment. It is, I will say it's a big adjustment, but I would have taken this experience for, for nothing. You know, um, it's, uh, I would say it has its, its minuses, but it also has its pluses too. And it depends on, like I said in all my videos, what you're looking for, what you're looking for in your life. Since I've been here, I've gone to Egypt. You know, I have, written in a hot air balloon, something that I was scared to do, but I'm so glad that I did it now. Um, I have seen the slave dungeons and something that I've always wanted to, to see. Uh, and just a, a myriad of, of other things. Um, I would say that the pros outweigh the cons in that way of being a young person here from, from the diaspora. Uh, I would say though that kind of, as a young person, the certain systems I don't agree with, you know, but uh, but I would say that it, it definitely outweighs, outweighs the bad. Um, my mom and I, we have noticed, we've spoken to a, a lot of people that are here from the diaspora and they're saying that they decided to come, but their kids did not want to come. They were, you know, kind of apprehensive or, you know, they just did not want to even think about coming here to the continent. And I feel like that's something that we really, really should explore because, I mean, I'm a testimony, I'm a young person here, you will survive, you will live. I mean, it's, it's really the propaganda that has been placed upon this continent. Of course, I would never say that it was perfect here because by no means it's not, <laughs> okay? So I just want to just put that out there. 
But at the same time, um, I know for me personally, the pros have outweighed the cons. I would definitely encourage more young people to take a look at at this continent a little bit further. I really feel that this is the time for this continent. There is a lot of young people here on this continent, and that's by no accident. And I feel that if young people from the diaspora and young people from the continent really take, you know, take, like I said, like take heed or whatever of what's going on, because there is a shift. I was talking to a friend of mine not so very long ago today, and we were talking about kind of like a shift that's happening where a lot of attention is being focused on this continent, especially like West Africa, but even the continent as a whole, Ghana, the whole year return. And I really feel that there's something here for us as a nation. And we really need to take a look at that and take heed of that. And, um, you know, so I'm definitely of an encouragement. If there's any young person or anybody in general, especially my young millennials out there who would love to kind of just like ask me questions. I'm definitely here. You know, you can DM me any questions that you may have about the continent, you know, about, about here in Ghana, I would say, not the continent, but Ghana especially. Don't let, don't let the media fool you into thinking that there is nothing here for you because that's a lie, okay? <laughs> it is a lie. Once you get used to the culture, get used to the affirmation, you definitely can make your mark here. I hope you guys found this video informative. I hope you guys, you know, found it. Just, this is just my personal experiences. Of course, I would never blanket this and generalize anything, you know, but um, like I said, feel free to definitely reach out to me. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this information with others. I love all of you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.